the red subscribe button right under the video and also the bell icon to get notification on any of our latest updates on our videos. Hello everyone, welcome to Smart View Card video tutorial. I hope you are having a fantastic day. Uh, today we are having a question which is still on our, on our topic probability. Our question is on a normal distribution. So here is the question. The length of human pregnancies from conception to birth approximates a normal distribution with a mean of 266 days and a standard deviation of 16 days. What proportion of all pregnancies will last between 240 days and 270 days? So that's roughly between 8 to 9 months. The BIF has said that what length of time marks the shortest 70% of all pregnancies? So this is a normal distribution probability. So solution, let me quickly walk us through normal distribution probability. So normal distribution is, is making use of Z. So initially you'll be given X from the question. So we are going to find Z first. Z is where Z is equal to X minus mu all over sigma. Sigma. So where X is the random variable The random variable where mu is the mean and where sigma is equal to the standard deviation deviation so you'll be given this from the question so we are going to find z where z is our normal distribution where which we are going to be finding from our z table so there's a table for solving this kind of probability question so I'll, there's a button at the top if you are watching this video from our website there will be a button at the top of the page where you can download the z table so and if you are watching this from youtube there will be there will be a link on the description uh, of the video which will take you to a place where you are going to download the z table so without the z table you cannot solve this probability question so i'll be walking us through the z table and also solving the question so uh now from the question we are being given that uh our mean is 266 days so our mean mu is equal to 266 days so we are told that our standard deviation which is sigma is equal to 16 days also 16 days so now we are going to be getting our, our z so we are for, for the a part now we are having two x a part we are told that the pregnancy is in between is between 240 days and 270 days so now our first x our x1 is equal to 240 days and our x2 is equal to 270 days so we are going to find the two we are going to find z1 and z2 with this because we are having z as x so we are having two x so definitely we are going to find z1 our z1 is x1 minus mu all over standard deviation and our z2 also is equal to x2 minus mu all over standard deviation so now we, are, we have all our parameters so let's quickly jump into our z so z1 will be equal to we are having 240 minus 266 all over 16 and this is equal to minus 1.625 so our z1 is minus 1.625 so z2 now is equal to we are having our x2 which is 270 minus 266 all over 16 divide by 16 which is equal to if you press this very carefully you are going to get 0 0.25 so now we have our z1 which is equal to minus 1.625 and we have our z2 which is equal to 0 0.25 so now we are told from this question let me quickly explain something to you because it might be very confusing in the exam so we are told what proportion of all pregnancies will last between so we are told that between 240 and 270 so this is a number which is in between so now let me quickly draw a graph so let me use a graph to explain this now let's say we are having x1 let's say here is zero so here is our origin here is x1 x1 so let's say we are having another line again let's call this x2 so if you want to find a value in between it will be the number in between is from here to here this distance this is the number in between don't forget here is x2 so now for us to get the number in between it will be x2 
minus x1 for us to get the value that is in between this range so i hope you understand this because if you are told in between that is what you are going to do so for us to get in between now so we are going to find probability of z2 minus probability of z1 so that is what we give us the probability that is in between so now we are going to use our z table in finding the probability and this can also be written as probability of z1 less than or less than z less than z2 so this is the, the the in between value so this is what we are looking for and which is equal to probability of z2 minus probability of z1 so now let me quickly walk you through z table because we are going to be using z table to find our probability uh you can see here we are having minus 1.625 and our z2 is 0.25 so let me bring out my z table i hope you've already downloaded your z table from our website so now here is the z table this is how it looks like the z table you can see it has different uh figures in it so let me quickly explain how you can get your probability so here is z this line uh this column and this row is our z value and the parameters that are in between all this place you can see what my console is showing all these figures here are the probabilities the ones here this row and this column is our z and all the values inside here is the probability so before jumping right into uh our normal distribution table it is best you approximate all your z to uh two decimal places which is minus 1.63 and here is z2 is equal to 0 0.25 so we are we have approximated all our values all our z two decimal places this is because the z table is in two decimal places so our z table is in two decimal places so here you can see z the values that are here is z so you can see here is here is the one decimal where here is one decimal and this other column is the other decimal which is here is here is minus 3.90 the next one is minus 3.91 the next one is minus 3.93 so that is the z table here is the completion of what is being written here so you can sum them together to get the completion of your z so you can see this entire column here at the beginning and the top of the z table is your z so whatever you find in between the z table here is the probability of the distribution so i hope you understand what i've just explained here all the figures we have here is the probability and here the first column and the top row is our z so now from our question let me quickly show you we have our z to be minus 1.63 so now let's quickly look for minus 1.63 so let's go back we're having our z to be minus 1.63 so we can quickly get minus 1.63 here so we are going to check you can see we have negative and we have positive also in the z table so here we are dealing with negative which is minus 1.63 so we are going to look for minus 1.63 now from our table so as you can see here right here we are having minus 1.6 1.6 so we have to complete it with the 3 which is minus 1.63 so going back to to the top row we know that the fourth column you can see one two three four the fourth column is our 0 0.03 which is the one that we complete our minus 1.3 so we are going to be tracing the fourth column here so now here we are having our minus 1.6 so we are going to trace it the first column second column third column fourth column so this is the probability which is 0 0.05155 so our probability for minus 1.63 is 0 0.5155 so let's quickly write it so from our z table we got uh, the probability of minus 1.63 to be equal to 0 0.05155 so you can see the way we are getting the probability now we are going to get the probability of 0 0.25 so you can see this one is already in two decimal uh, so we are going to get it sharply so let's go back to our z table we are having 0 0.25 so now you see all here is negative you are going to scroll down to the bottom i hope you've downloaded your z table because you are not going to understand this unless you try it yourself uh, to the positive part of the z table now you can see we are having 0 0.2 here so now we are looking for 0 0.25 
so how are we going to get that you should know that by now we are going to trace it to a point where we are having 0 0.05 so now you can see we are having 0 0.25 here we can trace it to down to 0 0.05 Five. You can see here we are having 0 0.05. If you sum it together, it's going to give you 0 0.25. So now, here the value here is 0 0.59871. 0 0.59871. We have the value of our Z2, which is 0 0.59871. So now, we can get finally get our probability since we've gotten it from our Z table. So, don't forget I told you you can get... Uh, your z table on our website if you are watching this video from our website or there will be a link you will see a button at the top uh, of the website you can download it on the page or if you are watching it from the youtube you can go to the description of the video you see a link there which will, which will take you to where you are going to download the video let's quickly finalize this so now our probability of z1 uh, less than z less than z2 is equal to having z2 Z2 minus Z1, so our Z2 is 0. Point, our Z2 is 0 0.59871 minus our Z1 is 0. 0.05155. So now finally you can press this on your calculator to get our final probability. So now this is equal to if you should press this very carefully on your calculator, you are going to get 0. 0.5564. So this is our final answer. You can also approximate it into three decimal places, which is 0 0.547. So this is our final answer. So now let's quickly solve the B part of the question. It's quite straightforward, but it, it's very tricky. What length of time marks the shortest 70% of all pregnancies? So th this is actually giving you the probability and asking you to find X. So here we have to find X, given that the probability is equal to 70 percent and 70 percent is equal to 0 0.7 so let's quickly drive right in to get our x so the b part now we are asked to find x when the probability of z is equal to 0 0.7 which is 70 percent of which i told you earlier so now we are also going to use our z table here to get z because if we get z we know that our z is equal to x minus mu all over sigma and this we can make x object of the formula making x object of the formula we are going to get x is equal to z multiplied by sigma plus mu so making x object of the formula this is what we are going to have so we are going to get z we already have our mu we already have our sigma we are going to get our final answer so going back to our z table now we have the probability to be 0 0.7 so we are going to find z at that number now what you are going to do is you are going to find where you have 0 0.7 as the probability as the probability so now we are going to be checking all the figures inside the box inside the box because they are the one that it is the probability so now checking let's trace let's trace where we are having seven you can see here we are having seven but it is 7.2 7.1 7.1 7.1 here we are having 7.0 but if you approximate it is 7.1 7. 7. then here you see we have 0 0.69888747 so if you approximate this value it will be exactly 0 0.7 so don't pick this value because here it is more than 0 0.7 the probability here is more than 0 0.7 so i advise you to pick this because if you approximate it you are going to get 0 0.7 our z here is you can see we are having 0 0.5 0 0.5 and here is 0.02 so our total value here is 0.52 so now our z at 0.7 probability is 0 0 0.52 so now we can quickly get our x so that's what we are asked to, to look for so we can quickly get our x no now our x is now equal to from this formula we can quickly slot in our values so we have our z 0.52 and our sigma is 16 from the question you have been given it from the question plus 266 so now this if you press it very carefully you are going to get 274.32 so this is our final answer you can see that it's very easy we are given the probability we find our we find z then we find x so i hope you understand this tutorial if you don't i recommend you watching the video again don't forget to download your z, z table 
because that's what you are going to be using in exam you can print it also you take it to exam to the exam or it is allowed just allow in the exam or for you to work in with your z table uh, don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel you can like this video if you find it very interesting we'll meet in our next class we are solving more questions on normal distribution probability thank you very much for watching this video